Hello, my name is Tom. We are here at Game Changer Audio, and this is the Mars Synth Mark II. In this video, we will delve deep into the motor synths envelope generators. We will explore different envelope types that help achieving snappy rhythmical sounds, long evolving pads, and sounds that sound like birds. Additionally, I will cover advanced envelope shapes that utilize a few hidden parameters. And finally, I will show you how to assign an envelope to all parameters that don't have a dedicated envelope. Make sure to watch the other motor synth in depth videos. The link to the playlist is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about new videos. The Moirison has three groups of envelope generators. The amp envelopes, filter envelopes, and modulation envelopes. All three groups are almost identical, with only minor differences that I will cover in this video. Keep in mind that if I demonstrate a feature using the amp envelope, the same principle will apply to the filter envelope and modulation envelope as well. Each motor and digital oscillator from the digital voice passes through an individual amplifier which is controlled with an envelope. These envelopes are organized in voices. To access the amp envelope for the four motors belonging to the motor voice 1, press the amp envelope encoder in the first row, then the encoder in second row for motor voice 2, and if you press the DCO envelope button, the first voice's encoder temporarily controls the amp envelope for the digital voice. Each voice passes through a filter, three filters in total, and each filter has a dedicated envelope generator that modulates the cutoff frequency. To access the envelope for each filter, first choose the filter by using the filter buttons, and then press the filter envelope encoder to access the envelope. And finally, the modulation section consists of three independent modulators, and similar to the filters, each modulator has a dedicated envelope generator that controls the modulation depth over time. To access the modulation envelopes, first choose the modulator and then press the modulation envelope encoder. Alternatively, you can navigate between the three envelopes in each section by using the arrow buttons. Each envelope is controlled with a single encoder. Press the encoder to access the envelope. The default envelope type is an ADSR envelope with four stages. Press the encoder repeatedly to jump between the stages and then turn the encoder to change the stage value. The time-based stages, attack, decay and release, range from snappy 0 seconds all the way up to 20 seconds. Perfect for my personal favorite type of electronic music, slow and gloomy drones. The time of the envelope is only one part of the equation. Another important aspect is the shape of it, or curve, which greatly affects the sound even if the time of the envelope remains unchanged. For example, you can make a sound with a long attack more snappy by changing the curve of the attack instead of changing the time. To change the curve of a single envelope stage, 
select that stage, hold Alt and turn the envelope encoder. Alternatively, you can change the curve of all stages at the same time by using the left screen encoder. If the individual stage curves are set differently, the master curve parameter acts as an offset. An advantage of having one multipurpose encoder to control all aspects of the envelope is that you are not limited to using only one envelope type determined by a specific set of knobs on the front panel. Instead, you can choose the envelope type that better fits the musical task at hand. Suppose you're playing with a MIDI keyboard. The gate length is determined by your manual performance, so having an envelope with a sustain stage is important. However, if you're programming an arpeggiator, the gate length is fixed in most cases, so you might choose to work with an AD or AR envelope and only jump between the envelope stages that are relevant in that musical context. Let's explore some of the envelope types. There are two extensions of the regular ADSR envelope. One of them is Attack Decay Sustain Hold Release, and the other one is Delay Attack Decay Sustain Release, and the latter one is my personal favorite of these two. It adds a delay stage before the attack, and one of the things that you can do with that is create double transients and strum sounds when mixing with other voices that don't have the delay. As previously mentioned, having envelope types with fewer stages is oftentimes useful when playing rhythmical parts, especially when the tempo and the gate length is fixed. I'm almost always switching to the AD or AR envelope when playing with the arpeggiator. This allows me to quickly jump between the stages that I need in the performance and avoid the ones that are unnecessary. An extension of the AD envelope is the looping AD envelope. Similar to function generators in modular synthesis, this envelope will loop continuously as long as a key is pressed down and the gate is high. The looping AD envelope can also be referred to as an LFO. Shorter attack and decay times means a quicker LFO. Combine several looping envelopes, each with different attack and decay times, you can create unique and lovely off the grid polyrhythms. Because the attack and the case stages can be very short, the looping AD envelope can even go into audio range, creating dramatic raspy ring mod type sounds.
Also, keep in mind that all of this applies to the modulation envelopes as well. So if you want to modulate the depth of one LFO with another one, looping AD envelope is one of the easiest ways how to achieve that on the motor synth. The motor synth's built-in keypad is not velocity sensitive, but if you're playing with a MIDI keyboard, the envelopes do respond to velocity. And that response is adjustable for each envelope generator individually. You can attenuate the response or even invert it. Inverting the velocity response can be a strange and dizzying experience in the case of amp envelopes. However, it is very useful when dialing in filter and modulation envelopes, both of which can have negative depths. I will start the next example with positive filter envelope velocity response, which will create brighter sounds as they get louder. Then I will go to negative velocity response, and the louder sounds will become darker. ADSR type envelopes have two powerful parameters hidden behind the sustain stage, which turn these envelopes into complex multi stage contour generators. As you saw before, holding Alt and turning the envelope encoder changes the curve of the time based parameters, but in the case of the sustain stage, holding Alt and turning the envelope encoder adjusts the breakpoint. The breakpoint is a level at which the decay stage ends. It can be lower or higher than the following sustain stage. If you then hold Alt and press the envelope encoder, you can now adjust the time parameter, which determines the rate at which the envelope will go from breakpoint to sustain. This essentially allows to create secondary attacks and decays. There are multiple scenarios in which having a secondary attack or decay can greatly extend the sonic possibilities. One of my favorite examples is when trying to mimic the envelope of an acoustic instrument. Most resonating bodies, when hit or struck or plucked, produce a loud initial transient followed by a long decay. And it is that secondary long decay, not an endless sustain, that a typical ADSR envelope cannot achieve. Start by setting the sustain stage to zero. Then go to the attack and decay and adjust them to achieve the initial plug that you were looking for. Then go back to the sustain stage, hold Alt and change the breakpoint. In this case, you need to make it higher than the sustain stage. And as you keep the Alt key pressed down, click the encoder again to go to the time parameter and use it to dial in the secondary decay. This is how you can create naturally decaying sounds on the motor synth using the ADSR envelope. Bonus points for incorporating the delay, which allows you to create decaying string strums. The link functionality allows you to synchronize various tone shaping parameters between the voices, and it will be dissected in a separate video. But because it is often used with the amp envelopes, I need to mention this in this video as well. The amp envelope of each voice is controlled individually, but sometimes you might want to use the three voices as layers in one big cohesive sound with the same amp envelope. Instead of making sure that each of the envelope has the same parameters, you can link them Choose the master voice, control only that voice, and the two other voices will follow. Once you have dialed in the core sound, you can unlink the amp envelopes and make finer adjustments for each envelope individually. And the last thing I want to talk about is the way how you can assign an envelope to almost any parameter on a motor synth that doesn't have a dedicated envelope generator. The modulation section consists of three modulators, each with a dedicated envelope generator. 
there is a savvy way how you can assign this envelope to other parameters instead of controlling the modulation depth. This will be explained in great detail in a separate video, but here is a quick version of it. Assign a modulator to a parameter that you wish to control with an envelope. In this case, I will choose the digital voice wavefolding amount. Go back to the modulator and set the shape to a square wave. Go into the advanced shape control settings and set the pulse width to 100%. Now we've turned the square wave into an offset, and the depth of that offset is modulated by the modulator's envelope. Essentially, we have bypassed the modulator, and this envelope is now controlling the digital voice wavefolding. I can now make adjustments to that envelope, altering how the wavefolding is modulated over time. The envelope generators are one of the most powerful tools when creating sounds on the motor synth. They can be as simple or complex as you want them to be. It's the one parameter I spend most time dialing in, as it provides all the tools for making each patch unique. Mm -hmm.